Today I'm going to demonstrate the stellate ganglion block performed under ultrasound guidance. Traditionally this block was performed blindly without the use of any imaging modality. Currently fluoroscopy is a preferred method, however utilizing ultrasound such as this M-Turbo system utilizing the HFL50 linear probe, this can be done with less radiation and avoidance of vascular structures that might not otherwise be seen under fluoroscopic guidance. The C6 transverse process Chasniak's tubercle. Immediately inferior is the C7 body and transverse process. The probe is placed in the transverse orientation, clearly identifying and avoiding the vertebral artery and the needle coming in contact with the C7 transverse process. To perform this particular block, the following equipment is necessary. The chlorhexidine prep, 1% buffered lidocaine with a 1 and 1 half inch 27 gauge needle, a 25 gauge 3 and 1 half inch spinal needle, a 10 cc syringe that will contain 7 cc's of 1% lidocaine with epinephrine or quarter percent bupivacaine with epinephrine. The procedure is performed with the patient in the supine position with the chin up and the following anatomic structures are identified. The thyroid cartilage, the cricoid cartilage, and then the finger is placed in the groove next to the trachea and pressure applied until a bony protuberance is felt. This is Chasniak's tubercle or the transverse process of C6. Currently, the use of fluoroscopy indicates use at the C7 level. The reason for this is to provide better sympathetic blockade while avoiding some of the common side effects such as Horner syndrome as well as recurrent laryngeal nerve paralysis. In this case, the HFL50 probe will be utilized. It provides a very high definition, high resolution view of the subcutaneous structures. Gel is placed at the formerly marked C6 level and the HFL50 probe is placed on the skin in a transverse arrangement. The initial view is of the cricoid cartilage and then the probe is moved slightly cephalad and then rotated slightly outward. At this point the thyroid as well as the carotid artery and Chasniak's tubercle are clearly visible as the hump located immediately in the center of the screen. Since this is the C6 tubercle, we will move slightly inferior until it flattens out and this becomes the C7 transverse process. It's important to note at this point to utilize the color flow Doppler which will indicate vascular structures such as perforating thyroidal arteries that are not to be violated as well as the carotid artery and the vertebral artery more laterally. The structure of interest is the longus coli muscle. At this point, local anesthetic, 1% lidocaine buffered, is injected and a 25 gauge, 3.5 inch needle is advanced through this tract to contact the os at C7. The needle is backed off slightly and then the injection of local anesthetic, preferably epinephrine containing 1% lidocaine, 6 to 7 cc's is gently and slowly injected. At this point the probe is removed, the skin wiped and cleaned, and if needed a band-aid placed over the small puncture site. This successfully concludes a stellate ganglion block performed under ultrasound guidance.